Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the last day of Vlogmas, day 25. Alright friends, all the things are happening right now. So I am cooking some bacon right now for Steven and probably Bubba's as well, if we're being honest. I also have waffles going. I'm using that New Hope Mills mix that I picked up at that village we were at. And then lastly, I set out the frittata because I think that's what I'm going to have. I have stuff for mimosas. I have the coffee machines on and ready to go. All right, I'm just going to finish wrapping up breakfast. It's all of his favorites. We can freeze these waffles. Like, we can make it all work. I'll use this for lunch this week. So, super excited. And he'll be really happy. In perfect timing, it started to snow. Bubby just came in, he's having his cookie. I have all the candles lit. Steven is getting his breakfast. And I'm having a mimosa. All right, we're gonna eat breakfast before we open any of our gifts. Steven and I just finished opening. Steven took out all the garbage. Um, there's his pile over there. These are a lot of empty boxes that still need broken down. And then Rebecca and I are actually gonna to get together and open our gifts together over FaceTime. It was a very good Christmas. One thing that's really exciting is Steven got two home pods and he said with the new Apple TV we could set up like surround sound around the living room, which super pumped about. We'll just have to figure out where to put them all. It is around three. I have um Prepped a couple things for dinner tonight. I'm just doing ham and scalloped potatoes, green beans, and stuffing for dinner this evening. We have so many leftovers. I'm actually tomorrow going to package up the lasagna so I can freeze it from Christmas Eve. And it'll be nice to have some mills in the freezer to pull out in the next couple weeks when things are busy and you don't feel like cooking. But today has been Honestly, one of my favorite Christmases. I was so excited to give Steven the gifts that I got him. I knew he'd really enjoy them, and he has. can honestly say that this Christmas, Steven completely overwhelmed me um, with love. And, um, yeah, it was really overwhelming. And also really perfect that it was just us. I am blown away by how lucky I am to have him as my partner in my life and how blessed our life is. He is just remarkable. And I think being home so much together since March has really just given us an appreciation for how hard each of us both work, um, both in our jobs, but also to keep our home running. But I don't know. He has completely overwhelmed me. So after we ate breakfast and opened gifts and Bubba's opened his and he loved his gifts. He's sleeping now. Uh, we watched some movies. I FaceTimed with Rebecca and we opened our gifts together that we got each other and hers were just so thoughtful and so full of love and her friendship has been something that I've really grown to appreciate this year and I'm so fortunate to have um, in my life. But it's just been an amazing, amazing day. I shared this over on Instagram because a lot of you have been asking about a what I got for Christmas video. I filmed one of those the first year of my channel. I might have deleted it. I don't even know if it's still up. It might be. But it was a video I recorded because everyone was recording them. And I was really trying to follow all the YouTube rules of what vloggers and lifestyle people filmed. And what I do know is at the end of that video, I didn't feel good about it. Um, it's probably one of the videos I regret the most ever doing on my channel. And I don't really regret any of them, so that's probably not the right word. It's just the one that didn't feel, like, very good to me. 
I think gifts should be between the people who are giving them. Um, and sharing ideas is one thing, but I think those videos can make a lot of people feel bad about what they were able to do for their families and maybe about what they've received or gave. And I just don't think that is the spirit or the true, well, I know it's not the meaning of what this holiday is supposed to be about. So to answer the many questions that I've gotten about that video is it won't happen on this channel. Some of the gifts might appear because they're things that I'll probably use during the day. And throughout the year, I'll probably share that it was a gift, but to sit down and tell you what I got or what I gave just doesn't feel right. Really wanted Vlogmas this year, and it was a really conscious choice to feel really accessible. Um, and I think sometimes when you watch things on social media, it doesn't feel accessible. That is not what this Vlogmas was about, and that's not what this channel is going to be about moving forward in any capacity. So that video is not going to be happening. It just makes me feel icky. And I think people try to mask it as like, I'm not bragging. Yeah, you are. <laughs> That's exactly what those videos are about. So that will not be happening on this channel. A lot of you have asked me to do a quick thing around like what I got Steven. That's not going to happen. Some of them might come up in conversation when we're vlogging and things like that, but that's not what this has been about. This has been about a Christmas that felt so different and in some ways really disappointing because you weren't going to be with your family and somehow this has emerged as one of my favorites and I think for Steven and I it has been so meaningful and thoughtful and an expression of love and gratitude towards each other and it's been overwhelming so it's been a perfect day. All right, let's talk about what I'm making for dinner. <laughs> in the crock pot, I have scalloped potatoes going. And basically the way I do mine is I sliced all my potatoes using my mandolin. And I used um, about a cup of half and half and a half a cup of skim milk just to thin it out a little bit. I put that on the stovetop, warmed it with some thyme, some garlic, some shallot, salt and pepper. And then I put a layer of that down, a layer of potatoes, Parmesan cheese, some freshly grated cheddar cheese, a little bit more potato, then the cream sauce, then the cheese. And I did that three or four times. And now I have it going on high for about probably six hours. I am going to be making my mom's stuffing in a little bit. I have ripped up my bread about four or five days ago. It's all nice and dry and ready for the stuffing. That is just finely diced celery and onion, a stick of melted butter, one egg, and then chicken stock until it comes together, and then I'll bake that. I have a little ham that I'm going to throw in the oven, and then I'm just going to do some lemon and garlic green beans, and that is dinner tonight. I also have Dateline on TV right now. Once again, another really feel-good TV show to watch on Christmas Day. Steven is up downstairs looking through some of the books he got. I got everything here all cleaned up because it was quite messy. It like took me forever to get breakfast cleaned up. All right. When we get closer to doing some cooking, I'll let you know. I also think our neighbors got some ATVs for Christmas because all we have heard all day are ATVs being driven. <laughs> I'm happy for them though. I will deal with any noise and disruption for people enjoying the holidays. Steven is deep in work. What you working on, babe? I'm updating this home pod. I don't know why it didn't come updated, but it's taking forever. Oh well, at least it'll be done right. Hopefully. So Steven is updating a home pod for a surround sound Theater. Theater. So there's a home pod there, then a home pod over here with Apple. So we'll see how that goes. He's a he's great at setting things up. So the ham is here. I'm gonna throw this in the oven a little bit. I made 
a glaze that's just a little bit of orange juice, brown sugar, honey, clove, and cinnamon. I have the stuffing in the oven. We're gonna do some green beans. And the scalloped potatoes. Ugh, I'm not sure how they turned out, friends. They look a little runnier than I'd prefer. I've like debated on stirring them. So, we'll see. Hey, did you have a good Christmas? He's been such a good boy today. He loved his gifts. I'm gonna get your toy. I'm gonna go get your toy. I'm gonna go get that toy. Where is that toy? Oh, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get this toy. What are you gonna get it? Are you gonna get it? Oh, I'm gonna get it. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Look at that tail going. He's so happy. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I actually forgot we had one more day. Oh, it's a... Uh... One of, it's a rose quartz, like, depuffer. Oh, this is awesome. I'm so happy with this advent calendar. Hello, friends. It is Christmas Day night, and I'm honestly just organizing it. Organizing things. As you can probably um, guess, one thing that I get the most this time of year is books. So, friends, Steven, all the people near and dear to me know that that is like a gift to get me. So I'm just kind of like getting my mind wrapped around some of my books and what's great is I don't know what this says but a lot of the books are kind of ones that really are going to like bring me into 2021 and some I bought a hand well two of them the rest were all gifts and I thought I'd share them with you so you know how I'm starting uh the year off and what I'll be reading to really set myself up for the most successful of years. So, here we go. One book that I'm reading, basically because I love Jen Lancaster, is Welcome to the United States of Anxiety. And it's supposed to be a really cleverly written book, very funny, but I love Jen Lancaster's writing, so it was one that I picked right away. Another, I'll also put all of these down below so that if any of them spark your interest, you can go and check them out too. And also if you just want to have a shared experience, these are really the books that I'm going to be working through, um, probably starting tonight <laughs> into 2021. The next one is Heart Talk, uh, Poetic Wisdom for a Better Life by Cleo Wade. I've heard rave reviews around this and it's just not one I've started yet, so I'm really looking forward to reading that. Jen Ross actually sent me the next two that I'm really excited about. One is The Feel Good Effect, Reclaim Your Wellness by Finding Small Shifts to Create Big Change. And then Good Morning, I Love You, Mindfulness, Self-Compassion, and Practices to Rewire Your Brain for Calm, Clarity, and Joy. Um, really excited about this. Uh, another book that I'm really looking forward to diving into is um, Kate Flanders. She wrote A Year, I think it's called A Year of Less. And I love her. I follow her on Instagram. I love her writing style. But she has a new book out called Adventures in Opting Out, A Field Guide to Leading an Intentional Life. And I'm really excited to read that. And then the last two I have on my list to read are not new releases, but they're new to me. And they're by Emily Lee. And one is Grace Not Perfection, Embracing Simplicity. And then the other one is A Tactical Tools for Intentional Living, A Simplified Life by Emily Lee as well. And I'm really excited to dive into these. So these are the books that I'm going to start off 2021 diving into and I'm really excited about it. I didn't film a ton on this last day. Um, I don't like sharing gifts and all those things. I think it just, I don't know, it just doesn't sit well with me. But I was excited to share some books with you because I know that is like a real connection. I feel like everyone can access them 
and I think that's really important. As I close out Vlogmas 2020, I I don't really have a lot of words. Um, I think out of all the Vlogmases, this one feels the most special, and I can't place my finger on it exactly. I know hugely it is because of the connection that I feel to all of you. Like, it's truly friendship and kinship and a connection to just be better and do better and treat people well and ourselves well. And I think when you connect over something bigger than a product or, I don't know, nonsense, I think it just feels different. And this year's Vlogmas just felt different. This year's Vlogmas was just a really conscious effort for it to be about connection and just real life. And it resonated and connected with all of you. And it makes me realize what I can really use this platform for. And I have a lot of goals for 2021 as far as making my presence on social media bigger and more impactful and more in the same vein that you felt in Vlogmas this year where it's about learning new things and tips and tricks around the house, but ultimately it is about connection and trying our best to be a little bit better each day. This Vlogmas had some really high highs and it also had a really low day in there. And you guys traveled all of those days and navigated them all with me with such grace and acceptance and love. And I can say that this has been my favorite 25 days of Vlogmas ever, and I thank you. I thank you for giving me your time because it is your most precious gift, and the fact that any of you would want to spend it with me means the world to me. I thank you for all the support um, through your thumbs up, your comments, your sharing of the channel. There's been so much growth, and ultimately, I thank you for your friendship. I truly, truly say that. Um, with a full and loving heart, I really appreciate all of you, and none of this exists without you, and that's never lost. My hope for 2021 is that we continue to grow, and that we accomplish new things together, and that we celebrate everyone's success and everyone's wins, no matter how big or small they are. <sighs> thank you for a great month of December, and thank you for being part of my holiday tradition. And thank you for giving me your love, your time, and your friendship. I'm going to sign off Vlogmas 2020 like I have signed off the 24 days previously and every other video. <laughs> um, actually, I do believe this ending tagline happened in year one of Vlogmas, and it's been in every video since. So my friends, take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be soon, but it won't be tomorrow. Bye-bye.